Welcome to the NTG video series. In this video we're going to look at NetApp deduplication for FAS on primary storage and why you might want to turn it on. Deduplication allows for immediate space savings and creation of new space. It uses very little system overhead. It's very, very simple to do. It's unique to NetApp and its technologies. And it does cause some overhead, but the more intensive processes can be run outside of business hours. Our lab environment uses two VMware ESX hosts, one vCenter server, two FAS3140 clustered controllers plus some disk shells and some virtual machines. Turning on deduplication for your primary storage has the benefit of increased efficiency and lower costs for storage. This means that the business needs to buy less storage to do the same things and they may be able to buy cheaper network links because you'll need to mirror less data between your data centers. Here we are in our ESX server environment. Immediately obvious is the uh, VMware NFS data store is running low on space, so let's go have a look at why that is. It's clear we've got five machines in there. If we go in and click on the summary, we can notice that 29.11 gig of our 35 gig is used up, which is uh, setting off our alarm. If we just quickly refresh that, we can see that none of that space has changed head down into System Manager and look directly at the volume. It's clear that we've used up 80% of our volume. Once again, hit refresh on that just to make sure the data hasn't changed. We can then go to Edit and adjust the settings on the volume. We go to the Deduplication tab and turn on Deduplication. In this instance, we're going to set it to run manually, although it can be scheduled if required. Click OK and you can see that the graph down the bottom has changed into two graphs. Um, the one on the left is the space on the volume and the one on the right is the deduplicated space. Right click and go to deduplication and click on start now and then this will uh, commence a full volume deduplication. This will kick off immediately but there are a few different processes to run through. The first is the active process, so it goes through and scans all of the blocks to determine which ones are actually able to be deduplicated. This is quite a quick process, um, however it, it does take some time on very large volumes um, and as is clear the space saved on the right there has not yet changed. Once it starts searching, it's actually going through and picking the specific blocks to be deduplicated. And this process doesn't take very long at all. And once again, the, uh, the space saved hasn't changed yet. We're already up to 19 gigs searched, so this process it doesn't really take a very long time. This active process is the one that's actually performing the deduplication. Um, so if we head up and press refresh, it's clear that we've only done a couple of percent, but we're already starting to save a huge amount of space. So at the moment we can see it's done 5.65 gigabytes and we've saved 5.65 gigabytes. Um, the space saved percentage won't be correct until we do the complete volume. So going through this process is essentially getting space for nothing. Um, you won't get the performance to go with that space, but you will certainly uh, provide yourself with more space to be used. Um, and if the space itself can be deduplicated that you use, then you will get even more space back. So here we go, the status is now idle, the deduplication process is complete, and we've saved 21.79 gigabytes. If we go back into vSphere, um, we can click on refresh for the, the NFS data store and no nothing else needs to be done in order to make that space available to the data store. So the alarm is gone, we're all back to normal. So this shows we can reclaim up to 80% of your expensive primary storage just by turning on dedupe. Um, obviously not all data will see as much saving as virtual machines 
but any saving is a good saving when it comes to expensive primary storage. It's clearly very simple to configure and very, very simple to use. Um, no other vendor takes this approach and no other vendor has this sort of success that you can see with this primary deduplication for FAS. If you like the video, you can come and check it out at www.ntg.com.au. Thank you for listening.